Okay, so we're going to demonstrate the ASA injection, uh, the anterior superior alveolar injection. And the first thing you always do is you're going to debride the area with gauze to get the bacteria out of there and to make sure it's nice and dry for the topical. And then you're going to put the topical on. Before I do that, I'm going to run through the landmarks. So the landmarks for the ASA injection are the canine eminence, and right next door is the canine fossa, and then the height of the mucobuccal fold. And the penetration site is going to be at the height of the mucobuccal fold, just mesial to the canine fossa. So essentially, you're directly above the lateral fossa here, or the canine fossa here. Okay, and you're about three to four millimeters mesial to that canine eminence. And then you're going to go to the height of the mucobuccal fold, and you're going to make sure that you're parallel to the alveolar slope. Some people have a really steep slope to their alveolar process, and you need to match that, because if you don't, you're going to end up coming away from the root and away from the nerve. So you have to make sure that you're sloping with that. And that can be kind of tricky sometimes because then you're way out in the air and it feels a little shaky. So you're going to see when I do this injection that I give myself a fulcrum to help myself stay steady. It's been debrided. We're going to apply the topical and we're going to let it sit for a minute. And the ASA gets the canine, the lateral, and the central on the side of injection with a little bit of fade out at the very center. That's because the next nerve is taking over and so there's a little bit of crossover right at the very mesial of the central on that side. It's going to get the pulpal tissues of the canine, the lateral, and the central, the overlying bone on the facial side, the gingiva on the facial side, and the lip. And it can go all the way go it can go all the way up into the nose area and the labial mucosa on that side. Yes. So we're going to remove the topical and then we're going to wipe the excess off. When you're working up here on these anterior teeth, you have to be really careful because some people have a really tight frenum and if you're pulling really hard, it can really hurt. So if that's the case, get your finger way up in there and pull more from the inside of the cheek. Okay, so I'm going to proceed with the injection. Now, as I mentioned before, you have to match the slope of the alveolar bone, and sometimes it helps to have a fulcrum. Sometimes I retract the lip with my pointer finger and my thumb, and I use my middle finger for a fulcrum, and sometimes it works better the other way. I think on her it's going to work better this way. So again, when you retract, you need to be just above the site. Don't be back over here, don't be right in the middle, go right to the site and go straight out. And now my finger's ready to catch the barrel. I caught the barrel. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna match the slope. I'm out about three, four millime millimeters from the bone and I'm gonna penetrate. Just cover the bevel. I'm gonna aspirate, it's negative. I'm gonna deposit some comfort drops and I'm gonna wait five seconds and then I'm going to proceed in. And now I'm at sight. I felt contact. I felt resistance, so I backed off about a millimeter. I'm going to aspirate. It's negative. I'm going to deposit just a few drops. I'm going to wait five seconds. And now I'm going to begin depositing. And I'm going to withdraw.